Man, look. Hey there. <laughs> We always want to be so quick to blame it on Satan when it wasn't him that did it. The fact of the matter is, is that you strayed from God. God's trying to get you to listen, try to get, try to get you to go the other direction, try to get you to change. He's laid on you. He's, he's put his hand on you. He sent people to talk to you and you won't listen. Come on now. Come on. So he brings judgment on you. He, he starts bringing judgment on you. Drama starts popping up. Situations start popping up. Circumstances start popping up. Trouble starts popping up. Goodbye. Come on. And, and here's the problem is that they, and he sent judgment on them, but they still didn't get it. They still didn't understand that it was him who was doing it. Hallelujah. It was God himself who was doing it. If you are a child of God and things are not going your way, don't be so quick to blame it on Satan. Right. Oh. <laughs> if God is trying to tell you something to do, if he's trying to get you to go a certain way, Amen. and you're not listening, don't blame it on the devil when things start going wrong. Amen. Come on. That is true. Because he will Amen. do, and he will cause things, and he will allow things to happen yeah. to get you to open your eyes. Yeah. Back and bring attention to you. Amen. Amen. That's right. Yes. He might not be the author of it, but it was him who permitted it. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't y'all know that it has to go through him? Right. 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 He has to permit it. Amen. Yeah. Right. Even though the devil didn't cause it, God had to have permitted it. Amen. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I'll get these people that um, call me, come into my office, Pastor. I am not a counselor. Wow. <laughs> my job title ain't counselor. <laughs> and but they they want to tell me everything that is going on in their life that's bad. <laughs> and um and it, it it boggles my mind because I'm telling you, it's got Wednesday night services. We've got prayer meetings, <laughs> we've got Sunday night services, but you aren't here. Yeah, right. Preach on it. <laughs> and you're going to come to me and tell me everything is going wrong in your life and your finances aren't good and you and your wife are fighting and you and the kids aren't right. Well, <laughs> if, if you're straying away from God and you're going against the grain and going against him, no Amen. wonder you got drama coming up in your life. Amen. No wonder there's some things wrong in your life. You warned the wrong one. Yeah. Now, 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 here's the difference is that if nothing is happening at all, you might want to re-examine if you really are a child of God. Because I'm telling you right now, if I start straying away from him and, and I start kind of slacking off a little bit, he's... He's going to hit me with everything he has to get me to turn back around again towards him. Amen. Come on. Come on. If, if nothing is bothering you and nothing is getting to you, you might want to get back to the altar. Yeah. Oh, preach it. Y'all no, no, might not like me by the time we get through with this. <laughs> Come on now. I, I don't know about y'all, but when, when, when I was a little kid and... I would do things wrong. Y'all know what a weeping willow tree is? Yes. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yeah. We had one that was right beside the house, unfortunately. Ow. Ow. <laughs> I can't tell you how many branches I picked off of that tree for mom to beat the car out of me. Right? And then she'd send me to my room, and I'm telling her, see, that, that was mom punishing me because she loved me, right? Yeah. But, but when I went in my room, there was no TV. There was no PlayStation. There was no Xbox. I didn't have any of that in my room. I went in my room and I stared at the wall. That's what I, we were lucky if we had Pong back then. <laughs> Pong, the little ball, and went back and forth. <laughs> but, but what it was was my mom punishing me, not because she hated me, but she was getting on to me for the junk that I was doing wrong because she loved me. Because yeah. she loved me. Sometimes God will bring that stuff into your life because he loves you. Not because he wants anything bad to happen to you, but because he loves you and he cares about you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Boy, it's getting hot up here now. 
<laughs> listen to this, verse 23 and 24. Who among you will give ear to this? Who will listen and hear for the time to come? Who gave Jacob for plunder and Israel to the robbers? Was it not the Lord? Hmm? I've sent other people to come and enslave you and to deal with you because of your sin, because you chose to live life the way you wanted to live it. Am I? Was, was it not God that's letting some of this stuff happen? Yeah. Hmm? That's what it's saying. It yeah. ain't me. It's right here. <laughs> because you did it the way you wanted to do it, I allowed other nations to come and enslave you and to whip you into discipline, right? Come on. Hmm. Uh oh. Oh, let me let me let me move on down. Verse 24 and 25. Uh let's see, 24 was who gave Jacob for plunder. 25. Therefore he has poured on him the fury of his anger and the strength of battle. It has set him on fire all around. Yet he did not know. In other words, he brought all this stuff on him. He brought all this stuff on him, and they still didn't understand that it was God that was doing it. Yeah. Y'all got that part so far? Yeah. All right, let's move on with this. No, I can't move on from this. <laughs> <laughs> I am trying to speak to somebody today that is rebelling against God. Think about it. He's brought judgment on you. He's brought discipline on you. Things have happened in your life. Things are not going right in your life because he's trying to get you to understand that you're not doing it the way he wants you to do it. Okay. Mm. Bye-bye. How much more does he have to do to get you to stop? Come on. I don't know All who right. that's for. Help us, Lord. What more does he have to do? You've got to, you, this man's got church services all the time. More than we do. There's no reason. But the word is there. The Bible is there. The mentors are there. There's no reason. Yes. Yeah. Stop running. Yep. Stop running. Right. Stop running. Amen. Stop running. Fear will cause you to run. Yeah. Stop running and start doing what God's called you to do. Amen. Amen. Fear will shut you down. Fear will cause you to run. Come on now. I don't want to do what God's telling me to do because maybe at that point in time, I'm going to have to give up some things in my life. Amen. Thank you, bye. Come on now. Free will we coming. <laughs> I, now I've got to give up some things. <laughs> Amen. I'm running because I don't want to let some people go. This is not even on here. I'm running because I don't want to let some people go. I'm, I'm running because I don't want to let some things go in my life. Amen. I don't want to have to make some decisions that I know God's wanting Come me on. to make. Come on. I don't want to have to turn my life around. I don't want to have to give everything up. Yeah. I want to hold on to this. Well. Right? I want to keep holding on to it. Right. Well. If you want miracles to happen in your life, let that stuff go. Amen. Yeah. Woo! Let it go. You want to see God do a working power in your life? Let it go. Let it go. Do 